the Student Involvement Center, home of UNI Student Government. However, the NISG isn't the only governing body operating within this little nook of Mocker Union. The Student Involvement Center is also the home of UNI Greek Life. Students and faculty involved in Greek life at UNI have been very busy since the beginning of January with the hiring of the new advisor. Not only will they be hiring a new advisor, but they will also be changing the faculty setup to who watches over Greek life. I sat down with current interim advisor Mike Bobbledyke to catch up on the situation. Well, last fall we started the process after the departure of the previous Greek advisor mm -hmm. um, to really evaluate the position. And any time you have a vacancy with any type of position, it's a great opportunity to look at if it's still meeting the needs of your entire organization. Even though there will be two people heading up Greek Life from now on, they will also be in charge of community service, which may mean a larger workload. In an ultimate world, we'd love to have a dedicated staff, full-time staff, to meet the needs of all of our different areas. But because of the way that we're funded through the university, that's not completely possible. This will certainly change the way Greek Life is handled at UNI. There will be multiple rounds of interviews conducted to ensure the proper candidate is selected. Along with that, a selection committee will be formed. Which is kind of composed of people that will be working closely, like sorority presidents, uh, the current program coordinator for the Mocker Union, will review these candidates and by their uh, resumes and CVs, they'll select a few people that they want to phone interview, probably around three or five, and those people will be asked to come to UNI and speak with the students and have uh, answer questions and display their thoughts and beliefs on what they think a Greek advisor should do here on campus. Now, what about that selection committee? A sorority president on there, there are um, community service leaders on campus that are in that committee as well, uh, and also administrators within the mocker union who will be like their bosses. Even though the change to two advisors may be a bit controversial at the moment, Alex and Mike, who have seen things firsthand from both ends, like how the new system will operate compared to the old. Under the older system, where we had one Greek advisor, there was, it was, took about like 80 to 90 percent of their time was devoted towards fraternities and sororities. They'd have a, a smaller chunk of their time devoted towards working in the office. Separate that position into two by having a separate fraternity advisor and sorority advisor. Reporting for UNITV, I'm Matt Lang.